Hey friends! In today's video, we're talking about 10 ways that you can change your beauty routine, different tips and products that you can add into your current routine for skin, hair, and makeup. These are specifically geared towards the winter months when our skin is combating very cold, frigid temperatures. Maybe we have a bit more dryness, dullness to the skin and hair. These tips and products can help you get your glow back. Before we dive into the video, I do want to thank Sephora for teaming up with me on this video. Every product that I use in today's video can be purchased at Sephora, and I will have everything listed and linked in the description box down below, of course. Now, I've got a few tips for skin. I've got one for hair, a new hair care product that I'm loving that is perfect for really all year, but specifically winter. And then, of course, we have a lot of tips for makeup. So let's go ahead and get started with skin. Okay, so tip number one is to add an additional step Step for hydration to your skincare routine. So when it comes to a skincare routine, I think the most simplest skincare routines consist of a cleanser and a moisturizer, right? I mean, those are two products that are kind of like the bare bones, also an SPF. Now, if you're not already using a step between your cleanser and your moisturizer, this is a great time to incorporate a hyaluronic acid serum, a hydrating or plumping serum, a hydrating essence or toner. I have a few different options here that I want to share. I use all three of these and I'm just going to talk to you about kind of the difference between them. So first up we have the La Mer, the treatment lotion. Now it says lotion. It's a little deceiving. Uh, when I think of lotion, I think of more of like a thicker lotion product. This is actually a very lightweight Oh, I hate to waste it because it's just pure gold to me, but it's a very, very lightweight, almost like a watery texture. It's kind of like an essence in terms of how it feels and how you apply it on the skin, but it's very hydrating. Of all the essence that I've used in the past, this is the most hydrating. So I usually dispense about three or four drops and then I will press it into my skin and I'll press it all over my face, under my eyes and on my neck. And I will do this right after cleansing the skin. So um, pretty much immediately after I've cleansed my skin, patted my skin dry with a uh, cloth, I'll go and apply this so that I don't allow my skin too much time to get parched or dry. I'm going in with this. You will feel how hydrating this is. Even though it's not going to replace your moisturizer or your cream, you will feel the extra hydration that you're feeding your skin in this product. It's wonderful. Now, another alternative that isn't going to run you quite as much is the SK2 Patera Essence. That one is really nice as well. Then you can jump into kind of a little thicker consistency, but not quite the consistency of a moisturizer, like a serum. Now I have two here for you. Charlotte Tilbury's Magic Serum Elixir is a really great one. This is a very nice lightweight product. It's thicker than the product I just showed you from La Mer, but it's not heavy like a moisturizer or it's not as thick as that consistency. And you can apply this, like I said, directly to the skin after cleansing the skin and before your moisturizer. Now another Another option that I have for you is from Biosance. This is the Squalene Copper Peptide Rapid Plumping Serum. And this is a plumping serum, which is really going to do just as it says, plump your skin, plump any fine lines or texture in the skin, which can be magnified when your skin is dry, which happens in the winter. So this is a really great product. And all of them, this is probably the most affordable. I also like to use this underneath the eyes. When we get into concealer, I'll talk about that. This is a really nice one too, because it's plump Plumping, so it's going to plump up any fine lines or crepiness or texture under the eyes. Moving on to tip number two, and that is to use a hydrating primer or a hydrating SPF. Now, in the product that I chose and selected, you're actually getting both. You're getting your SPF and you're getting your primer. This is the Super Goop Glow Screen green SPF of 40. This is a hydrating primer and it also gives you your SPF in here as well. But now this has a radiance to it, which is also an additional bonus in the winter because our skin tends to get dry and dull looking. So this is not only is going to feed it with ingredients to hydrate it, but it's also going to give it this luminescent glowy finish. It's absolutely beautiful and you can kind of still see it peeking through my foundation, even though I've applied product on top of this, you still 
still see this. And I'm gonna insert some B-roll here so you guys can actually see this on bare skin. You can see that beautiful luminosity. So you're kind of like getting the best of everything. You're getting your primer, your SPF, you're getting hydration, added hydration, and you're getting that luminous glow, which all is gonna give your skin life and glow and just a healthy, healthy look in these cold, dry months. Okay, tip number three is lip care. And we're gonna jump right into this in skincare because this is a step that is really important. I think this is a step that we should incorporate year round, but especially in the winter. After you've done your skincare, go in and apply a lip balm to your lips, something that sits on the lips as you're doing your makeup to really, really hydrate your lips. Now, you know, when it's not winter, I usually use a product like this mainly at night after my skincare routine, but in the winter, I will use this in the morning as well. This is the Laneige Lip Treatment Balm. I've really been enjoying this. It's a very nice, rich, creamy, hydrating consistency. I love the packaging of it. It's just a simple little kind of pot, but it has this little tool right here that slides right into the lid, and this is what you can use to scoop the product out and apply it to your lips. I use this in the morning and at night. I also really enjoy the Lawless Lip Mask. That's a really nice one. But what you wanna look for here is something that is a heavy mask, not necessarily just a like a solid stick. You wanna bust out the big guns for this and the like added extra hydration to the lips. So apply this morning and night. I mean, keep it in your purse if you want to and just kind of reapply it throughout the day our lips get so dry throughout the winter. I mean, my lips are kind of dry year round, but especially in the winter, I have to just keep them slathered to keep them hydrated and moisturized. Okay, tip number four. I'm really excited to share this product with you guys because I bought this last week or so. I've used it once, but let me tell you the first, this was a product that you can use one time and be wowed by. This is the Way Hair Gloss. It's a protect color and treat damage. Now this is truly a year round product because in the summer you're dealing with sun and chlorine and all of that. But I think in the winter, just like our skin gets dry, our hair can get really dry too. This product adds instant shine and gloss to your hair. It truly looks like going to the salon and getting a gloss treatment done. I used this just a few nights ago. I actually haven't washed my hair since uh, using this, but the way to use this product is you wash your hair like normal, rinse it out, then you squeeze out all the excess water out of your hair. You don't dry your hair, you, it's still damp in the shower. Section it off and apply this product all over your hair from about mid shaft to the ends and then comb it through and let it sit for at least five minutes. After that, you can rinse it out and then you can be done. You don't have to go in with an extra conditioner. You just rinse this out. It does say that when you get out of the shower, if you feel like you need a little more detangling, then you can use a leave-in conditioner. I didn't find I needed that at all. When I got out of the shower, my hair felt like, I mean, it literally felt like silk. It was so, so good. I just combed through it. I actually left my hair air dry and I woke up the next morning and it was shiny. No frizz. It didn't look dry. It didn't look coarse. It had a really pretty gloss and shine to my hair. I think if I had blow dried it that night, which I'm going to do the next time, I think that if I had gone in and dried it with the blow dryer that night, I would have even gotten more shine, especially maybe if you use a round brush, like that's just going to add to the shine and gloss that you're going to get. This is a really great product in the winter to give your hair some shine, some gloss, and just a very healthy, healthy look to your hair. Next up is using a hydrating foundation or serum, tinted serum or complexion product. Now I have two here for you that I use today, but there are so many great options at Sephora. You guys probably already have some at home. First up is the Danessa Myricks Yummy Skin Serum Skin Tint. Now this is kind of a lighter coverage product. It has a very natural kind of dewy finish. It does give some coverage, so you can wear this alone as your foundation if you'd like, or you can pair it underneath a foundation Foundation. Now, if you're gonna do that, which I did today, you wanna make sure that the foundation you go in with next, one, you don't want it to be matte, okay? You don't want it to be matte because matte foundations can, they're gonna look matte and they're gonna look dry. And in a season like we're in now where your skin is already dry and the temperatures and the climate just add to that, it's going to, your skin can look very flat and very dry. So use, if you do go in with a foundation, use something that's hydrating and also natural or a satin finish. Today, I went in with the La Mer Cushion Foundation Foundation. And cushion foundations are great options for uh, hydrating foundations. They tend to be very hydrating, very skincare ingredient infused. They also give the skin a very natural glowy finish without a pearlescent necessarily. They're absolutely beautiful. And I love going to cushion foundations, especially in the winter. I picked this up 
maybe two months ago or so and I've been really enjoying it. These two together work beautifully, but again, if you don't want all the extra coverage and you just want something more light, natural, and sheer, this alone is very beautiful. Both of these, by the way, pair really well with the glow screen, meaning that you're not going to take away that luminosity that you got from this. It's not gonna cancel it or cover it out. You're still gonna be able to see some of this through this. Okay, now we're to concealer. Now, you may have moisturized and hydrated under the eye when you did your skincare, but by the time we get to concealer, it's very likely that you could use a little more. So go in with a plumping serum. This one from Biosance is fantastic. Just put a little bit under the eye and pat it underneath the eye immediately before going in with your concealer. It will absorb quickly into the skin. So you want to go in there while it's still supple and hydrated and the skin is just going to drink it up. So when you choose your concealer, I really recommend going for a creamy, radiant, natural finish concealer. So look for those words in the descriptions online when you're buying them or when you're shopping in store. Look for creamy, look for hydrating. I love this one from Kosas because this actually has hyaluronic acid in it, which is a moisture magnet. It's gonna help retain and attract moisture. This also has ingredients to just really hydrate the under eye, skincare infused ingredients. It's also got creamy in the name, but it's very, long wearing and it's not going to move or migrate or settle in fine lines. So I love this one from Kosas. I will link it down below. Okay, when it comes to powder, now you can still powder the skin. I still powder my skin, but I really wanna encourage you guys to look for very, very light, natural finish loose powders. So I would kinda, I would stay away from the powders that are super matte. While there is a time and place for them, I don't think the winter is it, <laughs> if, especially if you have dry skin, because it just can make everything look so dry and make your skin feel like the Sahara Desert. One powder that I love is by House Labs. This one's really nice. It's a very lightweight. It even says light in the description and benefits online at Sephora.com. It also has a natural finish, which is important. It doesn't say matte. So it's going to set the foundation, but not take away all the shine. It's gonna still leave some of that life and glow to the skin and just use it where needed. So just don't over apply powder. I always recommend a powdering right underneath the eyes just to set concealer. And then maybe in the center of the nose if you wanna minimize a little bit of shine, but resist the urge and temptation to powder all over the face. Because like I said, throughout the day, just being in these cold, dry temperatures, your skin is just gonna be lacking moisture and it's just gonna look heavy, matte, and just very flat throughout the day. So use products that are gonna support glow. That's, that's what it comes down to, using products that are gonna support glow. Which brings me to tip number eight and nine actually. <laughs> tip number eight is swapping out your powder, blushes, and bronzers and opting for cream ones. I love cream blushes and bronzers period year round, but when it gets to 110 degrees here in the summertime in Texas, then I'm kind of like putting my creams to the side for a bit. But cream products on the skin, I mean, I think it just kind of ties into everything we've been talking about already. It's just gonna hydrate the skin. They apply better to the skin. When you have really dry skin, like if it's over powdered and then you go in with another powder, powder product, you're gonna have a very difficult time getting that product to adhere to the skin. You'll just be dusting on the skin, it'll kind of just disappear. You need something creamy or emollient, even if it's not the product, but your foundation has a little bit of tack to it still. Something to grip the products that you're putting on. And when the skin is bone dry, you're gonna have a hard time for having that color to actually deposit onto the skin. So currently I'm loving Patrick Taz. I use the bronzer, She's Bronzed, and the blush, She's Blushing. And I just find these products to work really beautiful. They blend out easily. They're nice and consistent. They're pigmented, but not too pigmented. So they're very easy to work with. They also both come with a powder option too. So I've actually heard that he recommends using these alternately. I think I've heard that he uses the powder and then the cream on top. I honestly just use the cream most times, but you can use them any, in any combination you want. There's really not a wrong way to do this, you guys. I find that the powder products are a bit more pigmented. So keep that in mind when you're you're looking at brush selections to use with your products. But yes, I love, love a cream bronzer and a cream blush, especially in the winter. Okay, when it comes to eyeshadows, now I really encourage you guys to 
find a cream shadow or a liquid shadow kind of as your base. Today I used a combination of the Charlotte Tilbury Eyes to Mesmerize cream shadow in the shade Champagne, and I applied that all over the lid. I did go in with a powder from the Patrick Ta Major Dimensions 3 palette. I did go in with a powder here to kind of give a little bit of shape to my crease, but I didn't take powder and layer it on top of the cream shadow. My under eyes and my eyelids are the area on my face and my lips that get the driest. I think it's because the skin there is just so delicate and thin. So I don't wanna layer a ton of powder products on that area. And I find that you can use a cream shadow that will give you that color and that enhancement that you want from a cream product. You don't necessarily have to powder on top of it. So use powder and liquid shadows when you can. Also, long wear cream shadow sticks are really nice. Bobbi Brown makes one that I love. Just any kind of eyeshadow. If you can incorporate a creamy, eyeshadow formula into your eyeshadow. Perfect. And the last step is using a hydrating setting spray. This is the Urban Decay All Nighter Vitamin C Cactus Flower Water. And just setting your makeup with an extra little last step to hydrate. Just setting your makeup with a little last hydration step and also something to ensure that your makeup stays on all day. And there are so many setting sprays on the market. This is the time to ditch the mattifying ones or the super waterproof ones. Use the ones that have hydration in the name. This is a really nice one. So I hope you found this video helpful. I'll have all the products that I discussed linked in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye.